Hi everyone, Ken Brown here, live for you from the Spanish town of Albuquerque. We are in the west of Spain in Extremadura, where some of the finest Iberian ham is created. Now we've spent all day with Maldonado hams right here in the town. They've shown us the pigs, the special race of Iberian black pigs, they call it pata negra, that uh, uh, live in this region that are grown here. And you can see some of the products that you will see in the CIIE Expo in the China International Import Expo, the biggest import expo on the planet. And these are some of the products that are going to be there. Now we've had an amazing day today, hanging out with some of the Iberian black pigs, driving through some of these beautiful Spanish countrysides. We've been to Cáceres, which isn't far from here, about 45 minutes from here, where Game of Thrones was filmed. If you watched Game of Thrones and you know anything about King's Landing, that was where it was filmed. These beautiful, tiny, old, medieval streets winding through these uh, towns and villages and cities in this region. Now here, as you can see in front of me, uh, this is Iberian ham, but this is a very special type of Iberian ham. It's called jamón ibérico de bellota. That means that the pigs in this, regions, in this region, they eat acorns that fall from the tree. They are free range, roaming through these beautiful fields and pastures, called de esa. Now this ham here, if you've never been to Spain, uh, it's difficult to, to, to put into context just how important this type of ham is to Spanish people. You'll see it absolutely everywhere. It's in 90% of households. You'll see it at weddings. It's a really popular Christmas gift. Many uh, companies actually gift uh, a leg of ham like this to their workers, to their employees, thanking them for their work over the year. Now this is the uh, Hamon Iberico, and there are many other products here as well. The history of this goes back to the beginning of, of recorded uh, time here in Spain. For example, you can see that in some cave paintings, you can see uh, pictures of, of pigs on the walls in these caves things like a wild boar also. And, you know, as I say, it's, it's just hard to say just how important Spanish ham is to people. They eat it in, in breakfast, lunch, dinner, 90% of households it's eaten, uh, hundreds of tons consumed every year. And now this uh, type of ham, particularly the really top stuff like this, the jamón bellota, is uh, beginning to be exported more and more. Now, luckily for us today, you, we, we have a, an expert in the theme. Let me introduce you to Manuel Maldonado. He is the founder, the owner, the producer of this uh, amazing ham. Manuel, primero, muchas gracias por estar con, con nosotros hoy. Gracias a vosotros. Un gran placer. Y, y, y cuéntanos, ¿qué estamos mirando aquí? ¿Qué es? Bueno, aquí en principio tenemos un poco la síntesis de lo que sería un, un cerdo ibérico puro y de bellota. So this is, this is, as I mentioned, the bellota ham, one of the finest products that, just, it's just it's exquisite, that is exported from here in Spain, it's consumed, and this is the top of the top product. One of the ones you're going to see in the, see in the, the China import uh, the International Expo that's going on in Shanghai right now over the next uh, four or five days. Y cuéntame, la importancia de, de, del jamón en la sociedad española. Uh, I'm, I'm just asking about the importance of ham here in Spanish society. ¿Se podría vivir un español sin jamón? Eh, bueno, imagino que sí, porque los que viven fuera de España, eh, bueno, a veces estarán bastante tiempo sin jamón. Pero digamos que El, el jamón ibérico es el embajador de la gastronomía española, indiscutiblemente. Oh, That's lovely. So he says, uh, Iberian ham is the ambassador of Spanish uh, cuisine. So here in Spain, people say that ham is actually even more important than something like paella, which everyone in the world seems to know. 
Sí, ya te digo que el, el jamón es el producto más representativo, el jamón ibérico es el producto más representativo de la gastronomía española, que bueno, cada día es más conocida en el mundo, mm. pero yo creo que... Y el cerdo ibérico es el, el animal eh, más interesante desde el punto de vista gastronómico, creo que del mundo. Yeah, so I think, you know, in China also it's, uh, you know, the, the product, pork products are, are so popular and China and Spain have that in common. This is a representative product of Spain. Uh, it's ambassadorial, like, uh, like, Manuel, like Manuel has just uh, described to us. Manuel, I'm just going to ask about the, the origin of this. So we begin at the beginning. Lo, la raza ibérica de, de los cerdos. Cuéntanos de eso, la, la raza negra, these black, beautiful black pigs that we saw today in your, in your farm. Bueno, el, el cerdo ibérico de raza pura y de bellota es un animal que es eh, característico del suroeste de la península ibérica. Es so it's the typical uh, uh, pig, this black pig, that you'll find in the southeast of the peninsula, in, in Spain, in Extremadura, also in Portugal. Eh, exactamente. Entonces... Es un animal que durante un proceso evolutivo se adaptó a esta zona climática en concreto. So, this pig, it's, it's, it's been here, ¿cuántos años dirías que milenario, no? Eh, miles, miles de años. So, no, so no. thousands of years these pigs have, have roamed these pastures around this area. So, it's, it's evolved to, to uh, exist in these type of temperatures, to eat the type of food. Sí, y es un animal que con, eh, con toda la evolución climática de una zona concreta, él ha ido evolucionando y adaptándose a esa zona. Por eso tiene las características que tiene, que es un animal único en el mundo, es un cerdo único que no existe en ninguna otra parte del mundo. So that's probably the, the most powerful selling point of, of this product, that it's, it's unique, it's uh, an animal that only exists here under the specific Uh, circumstances, the environment that we find here, you cannot find this in any other part of the world. Sí, y, y a esto tenemos que sumar el, el conocimiento que existe sobre este animal y su proceso de elaboración, que es algo también milenario. Es decir, lo, los primeros datos ya son de más de 2.000 años escritos en latín. Wow, so... Like we said, this is, this is a tradition that dates back thousands of years. There in, some of the first writings include uh, writings about um, some of these pigs, as I mentioned, the cave paintings earlier. It's impossible to, to, to overestimate the importance of, of, of this kind of culture and cuisine in, here in Spain. Sí. Y, y, y de, la, de los cerdos en sí, ¿qué comen? Bueno, so I'm just asking, what do the pigs eat? How do, what, what is it that they eat that makes them so special? Lo, lo, la parte más importante de la alimentación de un cerdo ibérico de raza pura y de bellota sería siempre la parte final, lo que es el, el, el engorde, el, el momento en el que el cerdo engorda, en plena dehesa, en el momento de la montanera. Y estamos en ese momento ahora mismo, ¿verdad? Ahora mismo estamos en ese momento. So right now we're in a really important moment in the, in the cycle of, of these pigs. So right now is the moment when they are eating a lot and, and fattening up. They eat a lot of uh, acorns. Also we saw today they eat a lot of grass, so that mixture helps them to digest the acorns. They can eat as much as 10 kilos of acorns a day. And the pigs can fatten up by one kilo a day during this moment. They call it la montanera. Efectivamente es así, un, un kilo diario fácilmente reponen por, por cada día de montanera. Uh -huh. y, y, y es que, I, I wish we could take you out to those fields, because it's just so beautiful out there. We were there earlier today, and, and the pigs are roaming around, free range, you know, they, they sleep in the fields, they, they, they were very nice too, they're not aggressive, they were a little bit scared of us at times, but they got used to us, so it was a really beautiful morning. Es que tienes mucha suerte de, de vivir aquí, en tanta belleza y en ese campo. Sí, lo, lo cierto es que sí. Eh, eh, vivimos, en, nací en este entorno y, y estoy imbuido de la cultura y, de, y del entorno y, y concretamente del, del mundo de la dehesa y del cerdo ibérico, claro que sí. Manuel, just saying how lucky he feels for, for uh, 
to have been born around here and to be able to live this every day. Y cuéntanos del, del proceso. Tell us about the process. How does uh, a, a pig in the field suddenly become this, this product that we're seeing in front of us? Bueno, el, 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 el cerdo eh, necesita aproximadamente dos años de, de cría. Es un animal que tiene un proceso mucho más largo que un cerdo normal. Y independientemente de eso, eh, tiene que finalizar su fase de engorde en montanera. Mm. ¿Vale? So, so, so the pigs are, are born here, the, 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 they eat here, like I say. Right now they're in the, the period when they are kind of fattening up and, and getting ready. Y posteriormente eh, nosotros somos una, una empresa que somos kilómetro cero. Mm -hmm. Lo tenemos todo absolutamente integrado en nuestro entorno. Nice. Sí. So they say that this is like a, kilo, uh, a zero kilometer. Everything happens within the area of this town. We are 20 minutes from the farm where the pigs are born, where they, where they eat all the acorns. Uh, and they are taken to the abattoir, which is 10 minutes from here. That's where they're cured, where they're dried. Vamos a cortar un poquito. ¿Qué te parece? Let's, let's cut a little here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting hungry looking at all this delicious ham. So if you see one of these stands in Shanghai, don't be afraid. It's cured ham. Now, the whole process of cutting it, look how, look how finely it's cut. It's like a little piece of paper. It's absolutely incredible. And here in Spain, the process of cutting it is so important that there is an entire degree. You can do a degree in cutting. You can be a professional cutter of, of this ham. Now, I'm not going to stay with this in my hand all the time. I'm going to try it. Let's see. Wow. So tender. Such deep flavors. Now the whole curing process, first of all, the leg of ham is covered in salt. You have lots of um, stages. There are, about, there are three or four phases, stages to it. So first of all, they're covered in salt, and then they're hung to be dried. The salt sort of... Uh, takes all the water out of the leg of ham, and then you have um, a process which sort of shrinks the ham, and there's less fat on it. And what you end up with is this beautiful marbled texture in the ham. You can see it. It actually looks like a piece of marble, this really dark red or, or purple color. Later, you... As uh, Manuel is showing us here, you cut it so finely, and absolutely everything is important, the details. When you put this on a plate, for example, the plate will be at a certain temperature, which helps some of the fat to, to sort of dissolve slightly, and you can, you can just taste it, and it is. I don't have the words to, <laughs> to say just how delicious this ham really is. So there you are. Jamón. Iberico de Bellota, absolutely beautifully presented, expertly cut. Everything that's done here is a traditional process that dates back, like I mentioned, a, a thousand years. And of course, the ham isn't the only product. We have some other products here that you can see. The sobre asada, you have a, uh, something which is a little bit like a salami here. You have loin. the loin, ham loin. Chorizo, very, very famous in, in Spain, of course. And here you have them all cut. Which, which one should I, should I try, Manuel? ¿Cuál, cuál debo probar? De, de esos, de esos. So let's start here. And this is sobre asada? No, esto sería lomo. lomo. Ah, this is the lomo, yes. This is, so this is the loin. Chorizo sobre asada. Chorizo sobre asada. Mm. Mm. Just amazing. And of course, when you have this amazing Spanish ham, one thing you really need is a little bit of Spanish wine also, right? Okay, vamos a, vamos a brindar. Sí, vamos a brindar. <laughs> so this is really common here in Spain. You have these tastings with ham, and 
you pair them with wine. Oh, well, muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros hoy. Thank you so much for being with us today. Gracias a vosotros, claro que sí. So thank you so much, everyone. We're going to have a, a little drink of wine here, and we're going to say goodbye. Look out at the Shanghai International Import Expo for some Maldonado ham. This very product is going to be there. Salud. Salud.